But one thing I will mention on this as well, just in terms of um, the values and the prices, one thing we did sometimes get or still do get is, you know, people asking, is Dubai in a bubble? Yeah. Is it overhyped? Is there too much happening? Is it going to, you know, pop? Um, what I would say about that is I saw a fantastic bit of data, um, <clears throat> excuse me, a couple of days ago from UBS, which as we all know is a, a huge, huge Swiss mm. bank. They do a yearly report on which global cities are most at risk from a bubble. Yeah. And we can include this in the show notes, I'm sure. But Dubai was, uh, I think it was out of 20, Dubai was number 17 in terms of at risk. Wow. So above that is New York, London, all, yeah. all these big major cities. I think, I can't remember the exact two, but the one that was at the bottom was Warsaw in Poland. So that could wow. be a good, good buy for anyone. Um, then you had another one. I can't remember where that was. And then you had Dubai. So you've got a huge global bank telling us, look, Dubai is still undervalued hugely yeah. compared to other uh, global cities, especially when you look at the price per square foot and the future demand and the pattern yeah. of the people coming in. I'll say as well, that's really, really good to hear considering I know when I think me and Toby did a visit a couple of years ago to come yeah. and see you over here, Nick, in terms of that and what we've seen, the price growth in that short span of time. It's, yeah. it's like when we have it sometimes in your Manchester, Liverpool, people are like, well, isn't the price already... It's not going to continue. Go yeah, yeah. Is it going to continue to? And I know we've seen some really aggressive growth in Dubai. But it's mm. good to hear from yourself. And obviously, we've got the data and facts there yeah, saying yeah, that it's, yeah. it's, it's potentially going Numbers to continue, continue doing so. So mm. it's still a good time to buy in now and be able to benefit, right? Yeah, generally, I would say yes. I mean, you do have to be a little bit picky. I do think the developers get a bit greedy sometimes, of course. especially when they're seeing people. I'll tell you this, actually. I saw the other day, I was looking at another... Um, uh, CEO's social media yeah. and he was telling me that some of his consultants his investment advisors went and camped outside oh. of a product launch the night before to secure oh units I believe they actually God. secured them it was like play. Play. Wow. Wow. dedication in that heat as well exactly oh. yeah. Oh. Yeah. Wow. so that gives you an idea of what's happening in Dubai but as you touched on it there, the number one word though is data. Yeah. If you've mm. got the data, if you've got independent opinions, not That's some agent telling you, mm. you need that supporting evidence to show you the stats. As long as that you know all stacks up for us, we're going to keep being you know buoyant and um, uh, bullish on the on the Dubai market for sure. Mm. Brilliant. Yeah. So still still a good time to invest. Right. We'll wrap that part of the podcast episode up, and we'll move on to part two, where we're going to talk about investing specifically in off plan which is what we Excellent. predominantly do as a company so part two investing off plan